one of the things that my friends in the early childhood community have been talking to me about for quite some time is the the opportunities that we provide. We've wanted to create a system where from pre-K to 12, every child had the same opportunity, regardless of income, social economic status, address in some cases. But we, what we found ourselves about about a year ago this time is that we weren't necessarily, it wasn't necessarily a, an issue of geography. When I say that, we'll go ahead and start this little phrase. Our, as some of you may or may not know, our, our former Head Start facility was in a separate area than, than one of all our other early childhood programs that are in. Uh, and we have this wonderful facility called the Stowe Early Learning Center that has really, and I'm not just bragging, it literally is a model for early childhood collaborative centers in the state of Connecticut. But the one piece that was missing is we had about 100 of our youngest learners who weren't part of that, in that, in that facility, of no fault of their own. And for me, it wasn't an issue about location. It was, a, it was an issue of the quality. We were offering some of the most advanced early childhood programs in the state of Connecticut, but we were leaving out a population of our kids, and that wasn't right. So because of the strength of the people in this room, and I'll fill you in on a little secret, once we started having conversations about making this move, one of the first conversations I had was with Kite. This is something we've been talking about for quite some time, there's an opportunity for us to do it. At that moment, it became another collaborative effort. And I could, I, I'm unfortunately in a position where I hear from colleagues all the time asking me how we did it, how did you pull this off? And the answer to them is the same answer I'll give you now, is our people are awesome. So I get the opportunity to sit up here and get asked questions about how we were able to put not just all of our school programs in one building, but obviously what makes that building so special is that's a community building. Our town early childhood center is in there. Kite now has an actual physical office in there. Our family resource center is in there. Um, it doesn't happen in a vacuum, it doesn't happen alone. We didn't, wouldn't be able to do that if there wasn't buy-in from all the people that are in this room. And that's something that we're extremely grateful for.